Yo, what I got so back here for another episode of Batman Animated Series. Today we got Season 1, Episode 22, Joker's Favor. Last episode, we left out with the banger of a two-part series, Clayface was introduced. Uh, aspiring actor, Clayface is another one of those. A lot of these people are just tragic, like, commoners. <laughs> Disrespectful word, but, you know, normal people, civilians, that are just affected by Gotham and turn evil. Like, I'm just starting to realize this more and more. Because he was an aspiring actor, an accident happened. And he, he needed something to fix his face because, you know, it was scarred. And he ended up just working with the criminal. And then the criminal ended up betraying him, killing him. He turned into Clayface and it's like, damn, well, now I have to live a life of crime. <laughs> That's the only out for me. Uh, I mean, he could have been a hero, but with that much, like, rooted hatred and stuff, I, I understand where why he went the other route. He had one of the best friends anybody can ever ask for. That man was ride or die for sure. So, yeah, great two-parter. Thank you guys for clicking this video. We do appreciate it. And let's go. Has escaped today. He is armed and considered extremely dangerous. If seen. Oh, swell. Some nut makes trouble, and for that, they free up the ball game. Perfect ending to an awful day. Man, who is this? What point exactly did I become life's punching bag? Buddy, looking at your hair? It's time to uh -huh. give it up. <laughs> You got a triple OG zero fade reverse. What are you doing? Hey. Oh, that's it. Sorry. Uh, not another villain. Not this time. And that's what I'm telling you, bro. Gotham just brings out the worst in people. Yeah, hey, I'm talking to you, clown. You think you own the whole road? Why, for two cents, I. Huh? This man's going toe to toe with Joker. I would have got the car and said, you know what? Come on, come out here, Joker. I'm tired of this, man. You ain't about to do this to me. And they know cuts to the, gr like, me in the grave. <laughs> There's your two cents. We can't have people cursing at each other on the freeway. It's simply not polite. I have a family, a wife, a little boy. Please, I'll do anything to make it up. Anything. Wallet. Man, didn't I just say I got turned down for a raise? There's about $3 in there. What do you want? Charles Michael Collins. Damn. He has your whole Lousy. name, bro. Lousy. I'll let you off if you promise to do a little favor for me. Tweet. Huh? It's a waste of time, money, and manpower. If I had the authority to block it, I would. Testimonial in honor of Police Commissioner James Gordon. Tuesday night, the Gotham Peregrinators Club. Finally, the respect you need. If anyone should be getting a testimonial, it's you. I'm just a night shift. You deal with this mess 24 hours a day. I arranged another early parole as soon as I heard about Gordon's Harley testimony. Quinn? No one, Mr. J. I deserve, nay, demand the right to honor our dear commissioner as well. Gonna call in a specialist, boss? No, no. Just an old friend who's dying to do me a favor. <laughs> I don't want to call out something I just saw there, but some of those numbers don't add up. I got it. Damn. He's running too damn fast. Wrong number, pal. My name's Don. Oh, no, no, no. This is the right number. 12 Marigold Lane, Springdale, Ohio. One might think damn. you're trying to skip out on... So he did what I told him to do. <laughs> you're booked on the next flight to Gotham. Tell the family you have to visit a sick friend. Oh, and let's keep this to ourselves. Okay? This is crazy. I can't believe I'm doing this. Wait, why didn't you go into witness protection? If only I had some way to wait, wait a damn minute. <laughs> now that I think about it. Hi! The car's this way, Charlie. Charlie Collins! 
Hey, my boy, how, how you been? How you been? How are you, man? You look great. Lost a little weight. Lost a little hair, too. Please, don't make me hurt anyone. Not to worry, Chuckers. As soon as you... He's a psychopath. Charlie, 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 Charlie. Why do you think the, the, the police don't negotiate with a terrorist? Knocks on the door three times, you open it. And? That's it? Wait, that's the favor? Any way I could sneak out with you? What the hell is all this? No way. It'd never work. Not in a million. Well, maybe. Don't tell me he's the original first bass signal. No shot. Not with the Joker on the loose. Sir, I believe you may be needed inside. Huh? You eating that roll, Montoya? And I'll conclude by saying... Don't stop now, Jimmy. The party's just starting. I bet. That voice. It's not Harley Quinn. <laughs> now, entertainment. Hey, sugar. You want to read me my rights? You have the right to remain silent. Bro, how are you, policeman? I am speechless. From me and all the guys doing 25 to life. Y'all deserve it. Wait, you promised to send me home. I never said alive. You dirty evil. <laughs> That's what you should have done when you first met him. Now you want to throw hands. Need a new hobby now that old Charlie's macrame's nice. Damn, don't you think that was a little bit too much? You had it strapped to his chest, you didn't need it that big. Quick to the van, uh, Mr. J. Okay, we'll tough it out here. Watched and laughed and threatened my family. I had no choice, Batman, really. It's like, yeah. Sure, punk. All right, wrap this guy up. I know for sure these two henchmen aren't about it, so. I know. You're thinking, what a shame. Yeah, right. like that was going to work. She said beauty school like she doesn't have a PhD. <laughs> Ingenious the way they reconstructed this temple. Completely accurate. Right down to the poison tip dog. Why why would they ever do that? If I ever hear somebody like, yeah, let's recreate the, the temple, but all the traps are real. Come here, come here. You're going to prison. Nope. Nope. Come on. Come on, come, come on. on. <laughs> throw it. Throw the hands. That's my boy. I knew you got the dog in you. You miserable little nobody. You're not getting caught. Not this time. I found this blown out of the van. Oh, he. This is how it ends, Joe. Oh, he number one. All the papers were saying is that the great Joker was found blown to bits in an alley alongside a miserable little nobody. <laughs> kind of funny. Ironic, really. Wait, you're gonna blow yourself up? You've had a busy day. All this running around, all this excitement with Batman! 
<laughs> he said, Batman, help me, please, please. No, Batman, Batman! This man's begging. How long have you been there? This is the only way my family stays safe. Right, all Batman right. just turned all the way for once. He has everything on his blasted family. Names, addresses, it's all there. Is it fake? Huh? Nah, he out jokered the Joker. <laughs> oh, very funny. A million laughs. Go home, Mr. Collins. Nah, bro, he real one. He, he literally got that man Joker begging for Batman. That has to be the biggest accomplishment in anybody's life. To have the prince of crime, the Joker, literally scared for his life. I don't think Batman even does that. Because he the Joker knows like oh Batman, you'll never kill me. This guy's like, oh wait, this guy will definitely take me out the goddamn picture. <laughs> wait a damn minute. <laughs> I don't know what to expect with this episode because it was following this random guy, and I'm like, okay, well, what is this? Was this really gonna be any that good of an episode? It was really good. It was, I should have known it was a good Joker was already in it. First of all, yeah, that's already a 10 out of 10. Come on. Joker's the best of the best. But the fact that this guy, oh, I'm just so impressed by him. You know, in the beginning, I had my doubts. You know, when he hit it, when he got heated up and he's like, you're going to cut me off, buddy? All right. It's going to be the last, your last day. And he was literally ramming his car into the car. I'm like, I mean, I don't condone this, but okay, I respect this. Stand up for yourself. And then he saw it was Joker. I'm like, oh. And then he turned into a wuss. I'm like, okay, dude. No matter if it's a joker at this point die on your <laughs> die on your ideals you feel me like here when at the end when you were i respected you so much man all you have to do now is get rid of your, your, your hair again triple o z o g zero reverse fade it's not doing you any favors it's really not but after that hey man maybe suit up <laughs> great episode though thank you guys for watching we'll do appreciate it catch you guys next time for another video peace peace bye bye have a great day